Greetings, beautiful people. This is SB Favor Thinking Podcast, and my name is SB Favor. It is Tuesday, November 17th, 2020. Another wonderful day. And yes, once again, another day to be thankful because we all have something to be thankful for. And as I always say, if you focus on what is good, then you can project something good to happen. So please focus on what is good. We are still in the middle of a pandemic. So if you are out and about, please stay safe, wear your mask, wash your hands, and just be careful. We we cannot let down our guard in the midst of what is happening. And um, we want to protect our loved ones. We want to protect um, even the people we don't know, right? So please be cautious if you are out and about. And if you have to stay home, please stay home. Um, my co-host is here this evening. Rebecca is here again, once again, always. Rebecca, how you doing? <laughs> Hello, good evening. <laughs> greetings, greetings. <laughs> yeah, so how you doing today? How, how was your day overall? I had a good day. I had a good day. Worked mm-hmm. a lot today. And uh, after work, I was able to, you know, do a couple of things. And uh, mm-hmm. so I had a blessed day. I had a blessed day. That's Thank good. You. That's good. Well, we're going to talk about um, self-acceptance and getting getting rid of approval-seeking behaviors. And wow, this topic is pretty deep. Rebecca, you wanted to talk about this. <laughs> I, <laughs> I did. I did. Yeah. I, so what, I, I thought it was a good topic, and I, I just and I want to learn from it too. You know. Okay. So yes. And who the better to do it with than that's me? <laughs> oh, well, thank you for the encouragement because this topic is something I think that um, we all need to be reminded of in terms of like the do's and the don'ts, right? So I think that um, we all have to accept ourselves, forgive ourselves, and think more healthy about ourselves. And um, approval seeking behaviors, the root of that is self-esteem low self-esteem i think that um we have to have a healthy self-esteem um we have to have a good thought process about who we are and how we function and of course as i always say you know it's a it's it's all about how you think it's about having uh positive thoughts about yourself and um not doing anything to be accepted of someone else. But I have um, seven approval seeking behaviors. And these seven seven behaviors is something that we all need to get rid of. And um, these behaviors, they come at different levels, of course. But I'm just going to read them off real quick. Number one is um, taking disagreement personally. Taking disagreement personally is... Uh, a people pleasing type of person, you know, uh, if somebody disagrees with you, you take it in a personal way because you speak to please others instead of just speaking the truth, you seek to please others. So when somebody doesn't agree, you take it personal. So that's number one. Number two, um, you change or you adapt your point of view to be accepted instead of you standing on what you believe you you switch it up based upon who's present number three afraid to say or do something fearing to be rejected that's something a lot of people do right number four not standing up for your rights not speaking when you should speak and speaking the thing that you should speak you do it because you love somebody too much but just because you love that person or you you know you're cool with that person doesn't mean you shouldn't stand up for your rights Number five, um, gossiping, being a part of gossip, you know, agreeing with gossip, accepting gossip, participating in it because you don't want to feel rejected. Number six, agreeing with something when you know that you really don't agree at all. That's to me goes along with number seven, which is compromise, self-compromise. You compromise your own beliefs 
instead of you speaking up for yourself and standing on what you believe you you will agree with whatever is present in the moment just to be accepted and everything that i just mentioned all of those are approval seeking behaviors and sadly when you think about all of those different types of behaviors you think about um what makes you think about um something kids do but sadly adults do it too so what do you think about that rebecca i uh i i i do uh definitely see those um as approval seeking behaviors Mm -hmm. and and how many of us may have actually you know uh, been through uh, some of those characteristics or maybe we still operate uh, that way and what's the best way to overcome that and and make change yeah um people people do things to be accepted because of a lack of courage you know um rejection is only redirection so if you're in a, if you're in an environment and somebody rejects you or if you feel like you're being rejected it just simply means you're being redirected in that moment to do something else you're not rejected by anything or anyone it just means that you are redirected to do something else in that moment in that hour but don't ever see yourself as rejected because you are not rejected and i say it like that because some people walk around with a rejected attitude yes and if you walk around with a spirit of rejection that means you're projecting to be rejected so that's why i'm saying it like that nobody is actually um rejected you know when somebody uh acts a certain way toward you and if you feel rejected in that moment you are being redirected not rejected you know um and the reason why i say nobody is rejected because god has accept accepted all of us that's why i yes. say that yes i'm not saying yes. you've never been rejected i'm saying nobody is really rejected because god has accepted all of us so don't walk around with a rejected attitude or don't walk around projecting rejection don't don't walk around like that um but a lot of people uh experience these uh approval seeking behaviors or they function in those approval seeking behaviors because they don't want to experience that rejection that redirection they don't want to experience that because what what you are and who you are and what you say is not for everybody but that doesn't mean you have to compromise yourself it doesn't mean that you have to talk like them act like them and speak what they speak just to be in the crowd or accept it be yourself as i said a minute ago we have to accept ourselves forgive ourselves and we have to think more healthy about ourselves um rebecca name a time in your life where you felt that you were operating in one of those approval seeking behaviors and i'll tell you about a time in my life as well but tell me about that well definitely um i have to say number four mm-hmm. um n- number two and number four uh number two I, th- I think you said was changing your point of view yes you, you know or, or, or your beliefs because of somebody's disapproval right number two um mm-hmm. and, right and then the other one was not standing up for your for your beliefs and standing up for your rights yeah your rights. <laughs> yeah. you know and you know so a, a lot of uh, and this topic you know kind of sounds familiar right mm-hmm. and and i bet you it sounds familiar um in 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 relation to relationships right mm-hmm. in relationships right mm-hmm. and i know in in past relationships um you know um i i have to say mm-hmm. that there was so some low self esteem happening in me yes um and uh you know that 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 intensified and and 
And what it did was it, it kind of created a, like a lack of self-belief in myself. Mm-hmm. Um, and, and I became very self-critical. And I, um, you know, the, my partner, um, you know, would, uh, I noticed that I would, I would constantly, I, I knew what I wanted. Mm-hmm. I knew how I wanted to ex- execute things. Mm-hmm. Um, but, f- but if for some reason I couldn't independently just go ahead and say, okay, well, I- I'm going to do this today, or I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to tackle this project project. Mm-hmm. Um, I found myself almost like asking, uh, what do you think? Oh, wow. Um, okay. Mm-hmm. And, um, and, and, and when, when the person, you know, when the, when my partner came back and said, so, you know, I really, you know, he kind of gave me his, his disapproval in a way. Well, no, I don't think you should do it that way. Well, no, that's not the right way to do it. Mm-hmm. Well, this is the right way to do it. Right? right now. I knew, I knew how to, to execute this. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, I, I know my, my values right. and I have my, um, what do you call that? My, um, it's at the tip of my tongue and I can't think of it. My conviction. Right. 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 Mm-hmm. I mm-hmm. know my conviction. I know my values. Right. I, I believe in myself, but because I didn't want to be rejected from my partner mm-hmm. or upset my partner Mm -hmm. so what i did was i was easily kind of persuade through my insecurity through my fear Mm -hmm. uh to kind of kind of kind of go go his way you know and and then on, on other times um when when he disagreed with me I, I felt insulted and I, and I did feel, feel upset. So these, these are things that I had to, to work with. I had to tackle, tackle. Um, and, uh, and, and I, and I've learned to, to jump those hurdles, to overcome those hurdles because, um, you know, if you, if you have inner security and you have inner peace, you don't need to be afraid to make your decisions. Right. Right. You don't need to be afraid to to, you know, go and and take that journey or take that job venture or make that family planning or take that trip, you know, with your children or or maybe with a girlfriend. Right. Mm -hmm. Um, We we don't we don't always have to go seeking people's approval um, to do these type of things. I feel that if it's a good plan. Right. I feel that if you you prepare f- for it, you weigh the pros and cons. Right. I feel that um, if you you know know that 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 you are walking, you know, you know, for for those of us you know, who are Christians, we are walking in the will of God. Mm-hmm. We're seeking right God's will and and God's blessing on, on our plans. I feel that you know we don't need to look for an approval in someone else you're absolutely right you know um people want to be accepted because of low self-esteem and also is it is a reflection of lack of self-love you know um unfortunately when we all were children, you want to get the approval of others because as a child, that's what a child knows, right? And as time goes by and you become an adult, we should develop to have more confidence, a healthy self-esteem, and we should know more about who we are as individuals. So I'm saying all that to say that being confident is the key factor to stay away from approval seeking behaviors. When you work on yourself and have a more healthy thought life about who you are what you what you do and how you like to do things 
you don't really want to, you don't really need anybody's approval. I mean, you want to respect other people, but when you are confident, and like I said, and when you have healthy thoughts about yourself, you're not trying to approve or get the approval of anyone. You don't need it. But what you said, Rebecca, I can agree with that type of pattern in terms of how you could uh, want the approval of a partner because you want to please that person, right? Mm -hmm. So I can understand that because I've been in that type of situation myself. But even in that type of scenario, you still have to speak up for yourself and you can't compromise yourself. Um, I can remember being um, in middle school and this kid, you know, me, I was the new girl at the middle school and, you know, I met some new friends and I remember I was probably about, about 12 years old and this, you know, girl said, you want a cigarette? <laughs> you know, <laughs> I was 12 years old. She's like, you want a cigarette? So I looked, you know, and I, I felt the pressure of it all and I wanted their approval in that minute. You know what I mean? So I said, yeah, give me a cigarette here. I'm 12 years old. I said, give me a cigarette. <laughs> So, so, so I puffed the cigarette and it was so nasty, right? That I spit it out and I hit, I said, here, take this. So in that moment, when, when, when I realized I was doing something to be accepted, I wanted their approval because I was the new girl at the school. I wanted their approval. So I got rid of the cigarette. And I kept thinking about it and thinking about it. And here, I'm a grown woman now. And I still think about that because <laughs> that was a moment where I was trying to get their approval. And yes. I had to tell myself, as I grew older into my later teen years, I kept telling myself, I don't need the approval of others. And, and I'm not saying that I didn't, you know, carry out those behaviors anymore. Right. I'm not saying I didn't. I did in some kind of way, but I know for a fact, I kept reminding myself that it's important to be who you are, love who you are, accept yourself, give yourself, and think more healthy thoughts about yourself. That's what I tell, I even tell myself that now. That's why I keep repeating this because it's so important for us all. I'm going to say it again accept yourself. Give yourself and think more healthy thoughts about yourself. And no matter who you are around, being a respectful, respectful human being, guess what? You don't owe nobody nothing. Just be who you are. You don't have to do anything to please anybody. You don't have That's to right. do anything to uh, make somebody love you or like you more because if they love you or like you, guess what? Just because of who you are, they're going to like and love you more. Nobody, right. nobody has what you have. Nobody can be who you are. It's only one you. Just think about this for a second. You're the only one with your fingerprint. Nobody else has your fingerprint. God only made one you. So once again, I'm going to say it again, accept yourself, forgive yourself, and think more healthy thoughts about yourself and those approval seeking behaviors you won't comp you won't compromise yourself anymore you will stand up for yourself you won't do anything in fear of being rejected so rebecca you want to tell me about another time in your life because i'm sure we got a bunch of stories <laughs> You know, I mean, I just, uh, that's, it, it's, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. And, and, and I, and I, I feel that, that, you know, this, this is very important because yes. see, if we, I, I, I know, and, and I noticed you, you emphasized on this, you said, love yourself, yes. right? Mm -hmm. You know, when we, you know, when we love ourselves, yes. um, we take care of ourselves, right? Mm -hmm. We take care of our bodies right, right? Yes. you know 
like you said, you stay healthy, right? I mean, yes. listen, I mean, I, I like, I like my, my Big Macs once in a while, right? But I know, <laughs> I know, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I can't be eating Big Macs every day no, now. No, no, okay, no. so, you know, for, so for women and men, uh, uh, the same, we have to take care of our body. You want to feel good about yourself. Mm-hmm. You want to love yourself. You want to take care of yourself, right? Right. When, the minute we start neglecting ourselves, and the minute we start sh- shifting our, something shifted our focus, or we get distracted, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. We begin, it's like all of a sudden, it's like, I, I want to say like the low self-esteem and the, the negative, the negativity, mm-hmm. fear, right? It, it, I want to say it's kind of like a snake, right? Mm-hmm. It kind of, it kind of like it's it's sly, it's sly and sneaky and it kind of sneak it sneaks back in right mm-hmm. cuz you got to you got to remember you know these type of uh, these type of situations these type of behaviors okay you know um it's it's a constant renewal it's a constant um you're working constantly on your character you you're working constant constantly you know to to it's like a, you know you're in an arena you're boxing you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. so i i i noticed that when i um something distracted me to take my focus on my own or, or, or shifted my focus on me mm-hmm. right mm-hmm. um i i noticed that fear ch- crept in again and that low self-esteem kind of you know, it, 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 it kind of slide right, right in again. Right. Mm-hmm. And then, um, I, I noticed that when, when that happens, mm-hmm. you seem to be more vulnerable mm-hmm. and you see, you, you walk in fear. You're not secure, right? Because you're, you're losing focus. You're not doing what you normally was doing to take care of yourself. Right. Mm-hmm. You, you're not, you're not, you're not kind of, you're not staying focused. So it's like you almost fall back a little bit. And then all of a sudden, you know, here comes someone, it could be a friend, it could be a coworker, it could be a, it could be a, a, a man, you know, mm-hmm. it, it, you get into a relationship, right? And then all of a sudden, you, you lost your focus, right? So then all of a sudden, all these things start coming back again. again and then you find yourself what? You find yourself not speaking up for yourself. You find yourself wanting that person's approval because you're already back in that low self-esteem. You're already in that fear. So what I'm saying is, if you love yourself, you have to stick stick to it. Stick to it. You have to speak positive to yourself. So the minute you detect, this is what I want to get at. Mm -hmm. When you're staying focused, the minute you detect, okay, these type of situations coming up or or is being caused by someone else, or you feel that they're trying to be activated again, that's when you have to catch yourself and you have to say, hold on a second. Yes. Hold on a second. No, I'm not. I have inner security. I have security. I don't need that man's approval. I don't need constantly my boss's approval. I don't need constantly my sister's approval because this this could go for family too. Because I remember being being in a toxic relationship. Okay, Mm -hmm. having. Um, activated these approval seeking behaviors Mm -hmm. I constantly found that I was always going to a family member well well, what do you think well well, what do you think I should do Mm -hmm. well well this is what happened and you know and then when they didn't say something to agree with me Mm -hmm. I got upset because mm-hmm. see, I was seeking the approval, mm-hmm. but I was seeking the approval for something that I knew I had no approval of business doing anyway. Wow. Okay. Isn't and so I know I'm kind of moving back and forth here, but you know, let's it, don't don't stay off the path of being focused and loving yourself and speaking positive to yourself. Set your goals. In in uh, a month ago, weeks ago, we spoke we spoke about. Um, setting goals. Right. We talk about writing them in a journal, right? Mm-hmm. You talked about SB, that positive um, projection, right? Yes. Um, we have to find a positive in every negative. Yes. Because it's almost like a a, a, a battle, if you would. Do, yes, do it you is. agree? Yes, it is a battle. 
Exactly. I mean, that's the perfect word. I'm glad you said that because each day, each day that you are on this earth, all of us, there are going to be challenges. There's going to be some level of opposition to different things that may happen in your life. But what happens in the midst of an opposition or challenge, you get to decide, you get to decide what you're going to do. You might have feelings and thoughts like you really don't, you know, you may feel a certain way you and you don't want to do anything about it, but you have to decide to just walk it out, walk it out. And like I always say, focus on what is good and you can project something good to happen. But most importantly, like I said, you get to decide how you are going to function. You get to decide what you're going to think. You get to decide that. Some things are not easy, but it is possible. And we have to walk it out, taking one day at a time, one hour at a time, one minute at a time. And as you decide and make the right choice to think the right way and walk it out, then you can walk it out. And like I said a minute ago, um, you don't owe anybody anything. Keep good thoughts about yourself, love yourself, forgive yourself, and accept yourself. And um, when you are tempted to operate in those approval-seeking behaviors, you will recognize it. You you will recognize it quickly. So, Rebecca, um, that's something else. What you say? But that's yeah. You know, it's uh, you know. I I I I can't speak some speak something that I haven't experienced, you know. Mm -hmm. Um, I, I only could speak on what I personally have experienced, and you know, you know that saying, "Oh man, if I knew what I know now, ten, twenty years ago, boy, things would have been different, right?" Yeah. You know, and and now it, it's like you know the the first the first four uh, uh, approval seeking behaviors, you mm -hmm. know, like what you said. I'll, I'll take one as an example, mm -hmm. you know, being afraid to say no, right? Yes. Uh, for fear of, of somebody's disapproval, right? You know, fear. Yes. If if I could say, you know what, I'm not going to be afraid because right. I'm safe. God has me safe. Yes. From, from, from those who would hurt you, right? Right. So... So the word, you know, that's what the, what's that saying? Stick and stones may break my bones. What is that how it goes? Yes, but words, is. whatever, mm -hmm. hurt me. Mm -hmm. I don't know who, who come up with that because that's not true. But <laughs> but I, I will say I will say you I can stand up for for my beliefs and my rights mm -hmm. because because I'm not gonna be a slave to fear. And I'm gonna stand on my own feet. So if I'm going to make a decision, right, I'm going to weigh the pros and cons, mm -hmm. right? And guess what? If it wasn't a good decision, okay, so what? Like you said, forgive yourself and move on, move on, yeah, you know, yeah. and, and, um, and find, you know, a, a positive in, in every negative, you know, back to fear, back to low self-esteem, um, back to, um, Taking disagreements uh, 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 personally, uh, feeling insulted, you know, changing my point of view yeah. because of somebody's disapproval. I cannot tell you how many times I've done that. I've done that so many times, you mm -hmm. know, but, mm -hmm. but when I learned to know the truth and the truth is that God guides, he, he guards my heart and he guards my mind and he's my helper. He's my helper. So I don't need to be afraid. And I know that I'm always safe with him and I'm always under his protection. Right. So I don't need anymore to be a slave of low self-esteem. I don't need to be a people pleaser all the time. I don't need to have somebody's approval. I don't need to also be an attention get getter all the time. Right. Yeah. Because yeah. I know and I have a inner security in me. I have an inner peace in me, 
right? Where I used to be afraid and I used to be anxious and, and I felt that maybe that person is smarter than me, that person's older than me, that person has been through more than me. Okay, sometimes in those cases, you know, they it's okay to get advice from family members. It's okay to, to get the opinions, but don't be constantly seeking approval and attention from people when you are afraid to make your own decisions. Absolutely. We gotta stand, right? It's That's like right. we gotta stand on our own two feet. We gotta be secure, be at peace, and and, and make those decisions with, without fear. And you know what? Um, if, if 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 it wasn't the greatest decision, well, okay. It, lesson learned. Keep it moving. The, the the focal point of all of this is you must be confident. You have to have confidence. While you were talking, Rebecca, I was thinking about people pleaser. Guess what? Let me tell you something about people pleasing. <laughs> you know, I'm one of those people that um, I'll do something against what you think I should do just because I don't want to please somebody. I don't want to please you. <laughs> I'm one of All those right. people that I will, I don't compromise myself. No, uh -uh, I don't do that. I, I've been through some things where I just refuse to do that. I speak the truth. I speak up. You know, I, I can walk into a room or a crowd and people will get mad at me because I'll say something because I'm that bold. I'm that, you know, I, you know, I don't care if, if you don't approve of what I say. I don't care. I don't care if you uh, don't like my view. I don't care. I don't care. You know, now if you would have caught me when I was about maybe 20, maybe so. Yeah. But guess what? I don't care because I own what I say. If I said it, I own it. And I don't expect for people to always agree with me, be, agree with me because we all are entitled to our own opinions. But like you said, Rebecca, um, when you talk to family members and you ask for advice or whatever it is, you still have to stand on your own two feet. You don't need the approval of your family. You don't need, you know, I'm not saying walk around and have a nasty attitude either because see, sometimes when you say things like that, people get it twisted. I'm not saying that. <laughs> That's right. That, oh yeah. Let's, let's remind that. Yes. Yes. I'm not Especially saying that. If, if one of our family members are listening. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. I'm not saying that. <laughs> I'm, I'm talking about, you know, having confidence about who you are as an individual, how you think of yourself, not to prove anything to anybody else. You don't have anything to prove. Be who you are. Accept you for who you are. Don't become something for somebody else. Be who you are. Forgive yourself. Think more healthy of yourself and be who you are. The minute you start shifting from one place to the next mentally and trying to be something that you're not for somebody else, that's compromising yourself. Yes. So don't do that. And when people see you do that, you know, they say, oh, that's two-faced. You know, one person, you know, they, they have a different face for a lot of people. That's right. So yes. don't do yes. that. So we're talking about this because this is what Rebecca, you know, she wanted to talk about this. And this is a good topic. I love it. But I'm going, I'm going to emphasize it more and more and more and more is you must be confident. You have to be confident. Confidence starts in not how you feel. It starts according to how you think. Because how you think, then your feelings will follow that. So be confident, be confident. And even if you fall short, just bounce back and be confident. Like I said a minute ago, every day you get to choose what you think about yourself. Don't wait for somebody else to clap for you. Clap for yourself. That's right. And yes. if they call you conceited, so what? Because guess what? You have to cheer for yourself. You have to encourage yourself. You have to think good about yourself and i'm not talking about walking around in pride and being arrogant and haughty i ain't talking about that either because there is a difference there is a difference when you have confidence you think well of yourself good about yourself to go to do good things for others and then in turn you can lift somebody else up because a confident person always lifts other people up 
Don't forget that either. A yes. confident person always lifts other people up. A confident person. Now, I don't want to talk about what a low self-esteem person do because you know it's, it's, <laughs> it's you know, that's another direction. So, but don't forget that. A confident, pers a, a confident person always lifts other people up. Your confidence is not just for you. It's for someone else. You are a reflection of everything that's supposed to be good. Because when you reflect the positive and the good, then somebody else can follow that. And we yes. we need we need we we need so much good right now. I mean, look look at what's going on in our world. And I don't want to focus on that too much, but I got to bring it up because that's a reality. It is. Yes. You know, we we have to reflect what is good, and we have to um, focus on the things that can build us up every day you know I'm, I'm sitting here and i'm talking to you rebecca and i'm talking and you know and i trip over my words a little bit but guess what i'm so confident that i can keep on talking because i don't care if i trip over my words you hear what i'm saying yes yes <laughs> you know I'm, yes. I'm confident because somebody's probably saying oh she's tripping over her words and but guess what i'm still i love myself that much you can't you can't take nothing from me when i love me so much Yes, love you. Ooh, that's right. That, that's it. Love you. Love you. Learn to love you. Yes. Because when you learn to love you, when you learn to love you, and this is a daily, it's a daily process. That's it's right. A daily. When you learn to love you, right? That's right. You don't, you, your, your focus is not shifted. That's right. Off, your, uh, or off of you off of you off of doing the right thing and then that little that little snake that little sly uh a uh, little uh, snake called approval seeking behaviors they, they don't start coming back in again okay because because these are things that you know you it's like it's like you, you know it's like you you stop uh, let's say you stop eating sugar right and then all of a sudden you start eating sugar again right you see the difference right let's say you stop eating bread and then all of a sudden you start eating bread again listen we need to realize there's some things that we have to purposely put away put away put and away. then we have to purposely start putting on putting away putting on as B said putting on confidence that's right putting on love for yourself put away put away things that shift your focus that begin to create approving seeking behaviors because then all of a sudden we find ourselves losing ourselves losing our identity exactly and, uh, we, don't, we don't want that we want inner security inner peace that's right you don't have to talk like them act like them and do everything that they're doing so that you can fit and be accepted. Guess what? You are being redirected. So accept that to accept yourself. Yes, redirect it. You know, I call, you know, rejection is redirection. It's re when you feel like when you feel that you are being rejected, you are being redirected. And I and I I'm talking about rejection in terms of like um the reason one of the reasons why people function in approval seeking behaviors that's one of the reasons why is rejection they feel like they're being rejected so they feel like they have to do you know be this or that because you know they become or be who they are that's not enough that's right and you know sb you know some uh, you know some people could have could have been rejected you know growing up you know, you may have, you know, constantly been to, to uh, be rejected from one of your parents. You know, maybe your, you know, your father or your mother abandoned you, or, or you know, or your parents split and they got divorced, and or or you were in a relationship at a young age and and someone cheated on you. See, you see what I'm saying? You see, you see all that? You see that that rejection, that rejection, that you that rejection. We need to do a self um, assessment and be careful um, 
it, this is not about hitting the root, hitting you with a ruler and saying, you know, hey, don't be like this, get rid of it. No, we have to make an assessment sometimes and say, wow, you know, um, these things did happen to me in my childhood. You know, maybe this ha this did happen to me when I was a teenager. You know, with a with a first you know first boyfriend, or maybe um, in an instance of being bullied, or in an instance of friends at school. And I think we need to. Uh, an assessment of maybe these situations that may have happened in our lives well, and that and and we need to sit down and really think do i have any of these behaviors mm -hmm. am i am i um acting out any of these behaviors well um and if and if i am mm -hmm. let me make an assessment uh, of maybe where it's stemming from what mm -hmm. what's the root of it right and then turn it around by what loving yourself and having confidence in yourself, like you said. Well, that's why I said rejection is redirected. Redirected. When I say redirected, I'm talking about redirection of thinking, redirection yes. of behavior, going the other way. You know, as a, an adult, if you've gone through something in the past, you have to redirect your thinking. So that's why I said rejection is redirecting. Read you go in another direction. If you felt any type of rejection or you experienced any kind of rejection, it's time to redirect your thoughts in another direction. And like I said earlier, and earlier I said, none of us are really rejected because we all are accepted of God. So everything begins and ends according to how you think. If you are thinking well of yourself, forgiving yourself, thinking more healthy about yourself, accepting yourself, being confident, your thoughts are your navigation. It is your navigation system. Your thoughts. Mm, your thoughts. I your thoughts. It's, I don't care if you was abused and thrown out of a window. Guess what? You're here today. And because you are here today, you have the power, according to who God is and what you have in you, to think the right thoughts. Think the right thoughts. I cannot emphasize that enough. Because if you think the right thoughts, when it comes to your family, your friends, your relationships, your children, you will not need approval-seeking behaviors. You will not need to focus on what rejection is and what it feels like. You won't need all of that if you keep the right thoughts. Your mind is a powerful place. Yes, it is. Exercise it every day to keep the right thoughts. When you get up in the morning and when you go to sleep at night, you have a beginning thought and a last thought. When you open your eyes and when you go to sleep, and between that, from the, between that time, from the time you wake up to the time you go to sleep, you have a choice to function with good thoughts. And I'm not saying that you, you, you're going to have just all good thoughts all throughout the day. Because when something comes to your mind, you don't have to sit there and agree with it and agree with it and agree with it. No. Shift your thoughts into another place and redirect your thoughts where they need to be watch your thoughts it's so important it's so important and this is why we're talking about this because a lot of us have operated in approval seeking behaviors and we need to get rid of it we need to be confident and we need to have good thoughts so rebecca do you have anything else you want to share ah oh, i i just uh that redirect your thinking that's right redirect your thinking if, if i think that if we say that 10 times <laughs> you know I, I i that's gonna i think that's gonna stay with me redirect your thinking i love that yes we must that, we have that's to that's the key we have redirect to direct your thinking and we won't have to have these approval seeking behaviors no we don't we don't have in to our lives we don't have to we can we can have um projected good thoughts and we can keep our peace we can stay in hope we can 
get through our challenges and our oppositions daily, whatever, whatever it is that we're going through or whatever is happening, we can exercise the right thoughts. And as you continue to keep the right thoughts, then you're going to see everything around you change as you change in the midst of it, because a new mind is a new person. So keep the right thoughts. And I thank you so much for listening to SB Favorite Thinking Podcast. This podcast has been such a blessing to me personally. And I really appreciate you, Rebecca, and everything that you bring to the podcast. You have been such a blessing to me. I have not been on the podcast for the last couple of days. And listeners, I love y'all. And I'm so sorry. (laughs) I'm so sorry. But I will um, be here consistently. I'm not going nowhere. And I thank you for listening. I appreciate you. And if you need to reach me, you can reach me at spfavor at yahoo.com via email. I also wanted to mention to you that um, please uh, take care of your mental health. Make sure you check on your friends and your family members. It's holiday time um, again that's coming and the sun is going down earlier because, you know, sunlight gives us good energy. And um, because of um, daylight saving time, we have uh, shorter days. So please um, take care of your mental, mental health. Make sure you check on your friends and family members. Make sure you pray. And um, if you need to reach me at Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, you can reach me at SB Favor. And I also have a YouTube channel at SB Favor. Please click like. Please click on the bell. And you will receive a notification each time there is a new episode of SB Favor Thinking Podcast. Please leave me some feedback. If you leave me some negative feedback, I'm going to ignore you because I only focus on what is positive. So I thank you so much for listening to SB Favorite Thinking Podcast. Talk to you soon. You have a good day. 